Hello everyone, this is Sir Benny Solana, your science teacher, and today I will discuss the parts and the function of the male reproductive system. So, ano pang iniintay ninyo? Tara na! This is the male reproductive system. Structure and function of the male reproductive system. The male reproductive system have four structure and function. Number one, primary reproductive organs which produce sperm. Number two, accessory ducts transfer sperm. Number three, accessory glands which add secretion to the sperm. And number four, external genitalia deliver sperm to female. Now, let us identify the parts of the male reproductive system. So we have the bus difference, the penis, the urethra, the seminal vesicle, the prostate gland, the epididymis, the testes, and we have the scrotum. So those are the parts of the male reproductive system. Let us discuss testes or the male gonads. Testes produce sperm, produce sex hormones found in a sac called the scrotum, suspended outside of the body cavity for temperature reduction of 34 degrees to 35 degrees Celsius. Testes well made of fibrous connective tissues divides the test into lobules chambers. Inside chambers are long tubes is all about 70 centimeters called the seminiferous tubules. This is the actual site for the spermatogenesis all called the sperm production. Interstitial cells secrete androgens called testosterone. Epididymis, one per testicle. Tightly coiled tube lying on testicle. It stores sperm as they mature. Ductus bus deferens, conducts and stores sperm. Uretra, conducts sperm and urine out of the body. Seminal vesicles contributes to seminal fluid that connects with bus deferens. Prostate gland, a single donut shaped gland that surrounds the upper portion of the urethra just below the bladder. Older men can have their prostate become enlarged and urination becomes quite painful. Surgically picks helps produce seminal fluid, copper's gland, bulboreutrial gland, pea-sized organs that lies posterior to the prostate on either side of the urethra, contributes to seminal penis, serves as an organ of copulation. Path of sperm 1. Form in the seminiferous tubules of the testes. Number 2. Mature and stored in the epididymis. Number 3. Some storage in first part of the bus deferens. Number 4. Enters the urethra just prior to ejaculation. Number 5. Accessory glands, prostate, copper's gland, and seminal vesicle add secretion to semen. Number six, semen exits through the penis. What are the sources of seminal fluid? Number one, seminal vesicle. Number two, prostate gland. Number three, copper's gland. Structures and functions of the male reproductive system. Testes produce sperm cells, produce the hormone testosterone. Seminiferous tubules produce immature sperm cells. Epididymis matures and stores sperm cells in cold tubules. Vas deferens carries sperm from the epididymis to its junction with the urethra. Seminal vesicle secretes fructose into semen which provide energy for the sperm. Prostate gland secretes an alkaline buffer into the semen to protect the sperm from the acidic environment of the vagina. Copper's gland secretes mucus rich fluids in the semen that make protect the sperm from acid 
in the uretra. Uretra carries cements during ejaculation. Carries urine from the bladder to the exterior of the body. Penis deposits sperm into the vagina during ejaculation, which also contains the uretra. Hormones play an important role in both male and female reproductive system. The pituitary glands controls the function of the both testes and the ovaries. These hormones keep the reproductive system properly functioning. Ang hormone ay may mahalagang tungkulin na ginagampanan sa reproductive system ng mga babae at lalaki. Ang mga tungkulin ito ay kinokontrol ang ating pituitary gland. Ang mga hormones rin ang nagpapanatili ng kayusan ng ating reproductive system. To regulate the function of the testes, two hormones are secreted by the anterior pituitary gland. The luteinizing hormone LH stimulates the secretion of the male sex hormone testosterone while follicle stimulating hormone FSH along with testosterone stimulates sperm production in seminiferous tubule located inside the testes. Testosterone is produced by the cells located between the seminiferous tubules. Upang maayos na magampanan ng testes ang kanyang tungkulin, dalawang hormones ang kinakailangang mailabas ng anterior pituitary gland. Ang luteinizing hormone ay kailangan upang maglabas ng testosterone hormone ang mga lalaki. Ang follicle stimulating hormones naman ay katuwang ng testosterone na kailangan upang magkaroon ng sperm production sa seminiferous tubule na bahagi ng testes. Konting kalaman. During sexual excitation, mas blood is pumped in the erectile tissue of the penis. That's why it becomes erect and bigger in size. And about 3.5 ml of semen is expelled during ejaculation, which normally contains 300 to 400 million of sperm cell or about 5 million in just one drop. However, only few reach an excel because most of them die in the acidic environment of the female reproductive system. Sa panahon ng pakikipagtalik, napakaraming dugo ang dumadaloy sa erectile tissue ng penis na nagiging dahilan kung bakit ito ay nagiging matigas at lumalaki sa pangkaraniwang size. Sa panahon ng ejaculation, umaabot ng 300 hanggang 400 milyong sperm cell subalit ilan lamang ang nakakaabot sa obidak o palopian tube dahil sa acidic environment ng reproductive system ng mga kababaihan. Sana ay naintindihan ninyo at naunawaan ninyo ang inyong pinanood. Hanggang sa susunod, maraming maraming salamat. Shoutout nga pala kay Julius Paolo, ingat sa pagdadrive. At maraming maraming salamat sa aking mga bagong subscriber at sa mga magsasubscribe pa. Sana ay supportahan pa ninyo ang susunod ko mga vlog. Maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood.